Thanks for tuning in to According to Jen today. I have um, some stuff I want to talk about. Um, actually, I have one thing I want to talk about and one thing I want to introduce you to. And let me just say, the thing that I want to introduce you to, oh, he has been farting like there is no tomorrow. And I have my spray, but I put it back up there. You can probably see his nose right here. He has been stinking at my office, and I think he ate a pile of crap sometime recently because his breath smells like poo-poo. Anyways, so I'm going to lean back here. You can see my giant belly, um, so I can get him over here. You can sort of see his head. Come on, you. Come on, you. He's going to give me his paws instead. Come on, you, buddy. Come on. Let's see if I can get him up here. Oh, such a big dog. You see how big this dog is? He's just a big cuddle bug, too. <laughs> Let's see, can we get you in there yet? <laughs> Not quite yet, oh, but he's so loving. Look at his little teeth. Bink. <laughs> okay. tilt it down a little bit more so I can get my mouse out of the way. This is my big doggie. His name is Riley. We call him Bear. We've had him since he was 16 weeks old and he is five years old now. He, you can probably see the dog here flying everywhere, but um, he's an Alaskan Malamute and he is canine good citizen certified. He has his, um, his like dog vest and stuff like that. Maybe I'll put a picture or something up with this video. because we're trying to train him to be a therapy dog. We want to be able to take him to like children's hospitals and because he loves kids. And we want to take him to children's hospitals so that, you know, they can have him and or they can pat him and all of those other things and hopefully get better because they're happy that they have a dog that they can pat. That is as big and sweet as this big woman dog and boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a big mama's boy, too. He just lets you do anything to him, so. Anyways, okay, go on, Bear. Ooh, big dog with lots of hair. Look at all this hair all over. Okay. Huh, that's better. Okay, so now that you've been introduced to Riley, um, I actually have something very, very exciting to me and hopefully to you that I want to show you. This is the October 2011 Everyday Magazine, Everyday with Rachel Ray. I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, I just lost a ton of respect for you because you like Rachel Ray. Well, let me tell you, Rachel Ray has taught me how to cook. My mother, terrible, terrible cook. We had concoctions most nights, which consisted of um, instant mashed potatoes, which were not the good kind. We're, we're not talking about like, you know, the kind that tastes like real potatoes. We're talking about the stuff that tastes like paste. Um, with cut up hot dogs and salmon from a can, you know, that has the little crunchy bones in it and stuff like that. I mean, we're talking gross stuff here. Sorry, mom, but it's true. And so, um, I really didn't, my dad, okay, he cooked, but most of the stuff, like he can't cook meat. He overcooks meat like there's no tomorrow. Did, didn't I just say no tomorrow about my mom too? Okay, well regardless, my mom can't cook, my dad can't cook either. So, I learned to cook when I first got married from Rachel Ray. You can see her lovely face right there and her cute fall outfit, by the way, um, which I can't wear because I'm just too big. I can't wait to shrink back down into my normal clothes and not look so pudgy. And if you haven't checked out her latest cookbook, it's really cool. It's called Look and Cook, and it actually shows you how to look and cook. Um, I'll give you, actually, an example. So I'm going to show you guys this one. Um, this is called, I can't pronounce it, Bagna Cauda Cauliflower Pasta. Okay, looks, this is a different recipe, so don't look at this one. No, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is the recipe. Here is the giant picture that goes along with it. And as you can see, it's got a ton, or it's got those three little pictures and step-by-step -step guide 
on how to cook this meal and it tells you how long how much of everything obviously I mean you gotta know all that stuff every woman should know how to cook every man should know how to cook but let's face it most people don't and if you have a husband with a big appetite that doesn't know how to feed himself anything but ramen noodles and tuna casserole ugh. anyways tuna helper oh that's even worse um, or hamburger helper oh I hate that crap anyway then you should learn how to cook for your man and she's a good way to show you how to do that so anyways the first thing I wanted to show you was there is this letter from her that I love reading she writes one in every magazine okay it's called Rachel's notebook dog-eared it um she writes this letter that tells you pretty much all the highlights in the magazine and some of her favorite stuff you know some personal stuff and whatnot um, but anyways, um, so I just like learning about what's in the magazine before I just start flipping through it and not paying attention. But my favorite part of the magazine is this. This is this month's menu. It is a recipe index for the magazine. And you can see like little pictures and stuff. I have a couple of them underlined in red that I want to show you. And I'm sorry for my stupid little dog barking. Um, anyways, the other thing it has is your weeknight meal planner. This thing is cool. All you have to do is rip it out of the magazine, like so, comes on a perforated thing, and it's got a week's worth of meals, easy to make meals, that are affordable, and she outlines how much it's gonna cost in this. And it's supposed to be like designed like a brown paper bag. It's kind of cute. Okay. So you can see, here is an example of one of the pages. This is flounder with almond, brown butter, and Swiss chard. It tells you, um, you know, the ingredients over here shows you, or tells you how to make it here, and there's the final product. And she's got one for every night of the week. And then chicken with balsamic onions and Parmesan potatoes. And then pork tenderloins with bell peppers and avocado mash. And it gives you a grocery list at the beginning, right here. And it tells you, at the bottom, right there, the total cost. Of course, this is gonna vary based on what region you live in, what grocery store you shop at, and that sort of thing. Um, but I just think it's so cool because you can just rip this out, take this to the store, and you got five meals ready for you to make during the week. And they're easy, they're simple. They're not something that's gonna take you forever. First of all, fall is my favorite time of year ever. I love fall, I love the colors, I love the foods, I love the smells. I love it all. I got this in the mail yesterday and I was looking through this and oh my goodness look what I came across. It is, oh you can't see it you stupid camera, um, apple cider floats. I love apple cider and an apple cider float. Why did I not think of this? Seriously. Apple cider float right here. Is that does that not look delicious or what? I'm sorry, but that looks delicious. I love it. I will definitely be trying this ASAP. Um, there's a couple of other recipes in here that I'd like to show you. This one, this is the garlic sherry burgers with Stilton and pub browns with horseradish sauce. Now, Rachel Ray is actually very big on her stouts and her beers, especially in the fall time. So you'll see that she cooks with a lot of them if you decide to become a Rachel Ray fan. Um, but here's yet another example of a recipe where you get the whole picture right here, you got a side item right here, and it shows you three pictures of, you know, the steps in making it, and it's got all the steps listed out down here for you, all the ingredients up here, and I mean, it, ma it just makes it really, really simple. Oh, and this is actually a really cool section of the magazine, because this section of the magazine is not only 30-minute meals, but it's guy foods. And, you know, a lot of guys, they get really tired of grilled chicken over rice. It's true. So she makes these, makes these really hearty, relatively healthy guy foods. So this is a nice section of the magazine because it's dedicated to guy food. Oh, she also writes a burger of the month. And for any of you that likes burgers, um, it's not just like hamburgers. It's turkey burgers and stuff. Oh my gosh, and this looks so good. Seriously, I'm going to be making this. This is her apple, cheese, and arugula panini. For those of us who can't have deli meat because we're carrying deli meat. Um, yeah, a sandwich goes a long way in my book. On the back of her Rach's notebook, she writes a burger of the month. This is her burger of the month. Let's see if I can show you. Um, this is called French onion dip burgers. Now, okay, 
I used to love onions. I could like bite into them like they were apples until I got pregnant. Onions have been the one food that I cannot tolerate. I don't care if you're cooking it three miles away or if you're cooking it three feet away. I cannot handle the smell, the taste, the sight, or anything of onions in them. I can't, I just can't eat onions. And, and it's such a shame because I always used to cook everything with onions. And grocery list always had onions on it, but no more onion. Oh gosh, and onion rings are like the worst because they could they deep fry them and so the smell just gets everywhere. And there was one time we went to Arby's and we ordered curly fries and I guess they have some sort of fried onions there too. They cooked the fries in the same oil that they um, cooked the onion rings or whatever onion thing they cook in there. So I noticed as soon as they gave us the bag, it smelled like onions and I just about hurled. We get it home. There's no onions in the bag, and I'm like, okay, whatever, maybe it's just me and I'm super sensitive. I go and eat a fry, uh-uh, tastes like onions. I was so pissed, but whatever. Anyways, so um, and she's got the burger of the month. Sometimes they're turkey burgers, sometimes they're chicken burgers, sometimes they're veal burgers, sometimes they're lamb burgers. Um, she's got all sorts of types of pork burgers. I mean, she does all sorts of stuff for her burger of the month. It's not just hamburger. This one does not sound delicious to me because it says French onion dip burgers, and I don't want French onion dip on my burger. And I would definitely recommend that people go out and at least buy one of her magazines. The fall time is the best time to get one of the magazines because there's so many good things in there. There's tips, especially in the November issue. Um which hasn't come out yet, but I got the one from last year. Of course, it's all dedicated to Thanksgiving decorations and foods and tips on how to carve the turkey or how to make the turkey or different side dishes to try and stuff like that because sometimes the same side dishes get a little bit old, but there's some that you just have to have, like green bean casserole. Love it. Um, so anyway, so I would definitely go out and at least get either the October or, no or November issue or just thumb through it in the grocery store and see if it's something that you're interested in because I really, really, really believe in this magazine and I love this magazine. Um, occasionally you'll find where you can get like a two year subscription for like $3.99. Um, I don't think there's anything like that going on right now, but next time I see a deal like that going on, I will let you know and I will post it on my blog. Oh no, there's one more thing that I forgot. Okay, this is a big deal to me too. So a lot of times I get sort of stuck in these cooking ruts where I end up eating or making the same foods all the time, but I don't want to make them because we just had them last week or yesterday. And so um, I've started trying to get into uh, cooking more ethnic foods. She has this section of her magazine called Spin the Globe Suppers. And it is a section in the magazine that is dedicated to ethnic foods. So for example, this one is British beef. Peek into any oven in England on a Sunday and you'll likely find a roast. So here is the British beef. So that's from Britain, obviously. Then there's Big Easy Beans. Um, this is a Creole recipe right here. And uh, just to give you a couple of other ideas, um, they've got Caribbean Fish Friday, which is obviously Caribbean. Uh, Seo Paulo stew, which is Brazil, but it's nice to get outside the box and learn how to cook those things. So anyway, so I'm going to stop rambling now because I could go on and on and on about this magazine. I love, 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 love this magazine. Go out and get it if you haven't already. I don't know how much it is in stores. Sometimes they put the price like right on the front. Anyway, they're usually like $4.00. So I hope you enjoyed my rant about my Every Day with Rachel Ray magazine and uh, how much I love Rachel. I love you, Rachel. Take me on your show and cook something for me that's good because I would really like that. But anyway, so I'm going to go and I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next video.